Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 IFBB Pro League Patriots Challenge Pro Bikini results, which was insane. It was another battle between two Olympia champions. Uh, a third member of the top five is a qualified athlete heading to Olympia already. Like this is insane. The caliber of the show was crazy good. So let's get going. And as a reminder, I've got two more recaps from the weekend coming your way. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss them. Okay. So in terms of Olympia 2022, this is a tier four contest. So the winner qualifies for Olympia. Second through fifth receive those points at the bottom. And at the end of the qualification period, the top three in the points all get to go to Olympia. So looking at the top five, in first place was Issa, second Ashley, third Malu, fourth Tara, and fifth Hayun. Okay, so Hayun, oh my gosh, so beautiful. We've seen her a couple times already this season. She looks insane. And what I am loving in this contest is her shoulders. So full. Her lats look amazing and her glute looks so round. Like she really nailed the fullness at this competition. Her hourglass looks crazy. Her waist is tiny. Her oblique is insane. Gorgeous. Just absolutely awesome hourglass shape. Beautiful curves. Like I think her shoulders look more round, more full, more just big and pumped up than they did at the Toronto or the Asia Grand Prix. Just fantastic. However, I do feel like she could try to straighten them out a little bit. This shoulder is a little bit higher, so it's making my eye kind of go like this. And I don't know whether that's just a matter of lowering this hand a little bit closer to the belly button or if it's more of a twist of her torso. Either way, if she could just level that off, I think it would be fantastic. That's my only suggestion. She looks gorgeous. Beautiful fifth place. Okay, next and fourth is Tara. And are you kidding me with the change in the posing here? She looks like a completely different person. So first of all, check out how distorted her leg was in this photo. Her quad is not being shown off to its full potential. Her glute is too prominent. Her waist looks kind of shortened and compressed. Her hourglass is it's kind of squished. Like it just wasn't flattering. And look at how tall and long and gorgeous her shape is. Her leg looks beautiful. Compare this leg to this leg. It's no comparison whatsoever. Just by turning her foot, really pulling up, she looks absolutely like a different person. Her conditioning is being shown off. It's beautiful. You've got great detail in her back leg. You've got a gorgeous groove here. You've got the outline of the whole glute. The hamstring is being separated from the quad. Gorgeous detail by her knees. Like her legs just look awesome. Absolutely beautiful shape to her glute. Her waist comes in beautifully. Really nice detail in her sides. Lats look great. Beautiful round shoulders. Man, just her posing is next level. It looks so good. Beautiful fourth place. Great suit, great hair, great makeup. But but wow, I can't get over how gorgeous her shape looks. I think she did a great job. Okay, next in third place is Malu. First thing I noticed were her striking eyes. She is absolutely gorgeous. Amazing, beautiful woman. And she's got an equally beautiful physique fabulous tiny waist really nice round full glute gorgeous conditioning you've got detail by her knee beautiful curve in her hamstring curve on her quad in the back leg her obliques look really good she's got that nice kind of sweep of the oblique under the ribs but not too much rib case itself is showing so i think really nailed the conditioning um, I, I feel like this arm is being pulled down. I think she could try to pull up her shoulders, open them up and back, really pull up the chest and just make this shoulder a little bit more out. And then it would line up even more with the glute and just make her look a little bit taller, more kind of proud and confident and not be pulling down so much. But that's it from a posing perspective. I think her physique is beautiful. 
Um, beautiful package, great hair, great makeup, gorgeous red suit. I love it. I think she looks really beautiful. Okay, Ashley in second place. The pictures are getting so small. She surprised us with another beautiful suit. It's a royal blue. It's stunning. And the other thing I love about Ashley is she is not afraid of lipstick. She always has a gorgeous, full, shiny, beautiful lip. It's so fabulous. It makes her smile just beam. Uh, I think her physique looks beautiful, but honestly, what I notice more than ever is her shoulders. Whatever she's doing lately, it is working because I think her delts have changed significantly, even here from Toronto. Just, they're so round, they're so beautifully outlined. It just is like the icing on the top of the beautiful cake that is Ashley's gorgeous physique. So let's just zoom in a little check out those shoulders so great uh, and then she's got her consistent beautiful wonderful package super lean abs great definition in her leg nice hamstring beautiful earrings beautiful hair like she just looks beautiful but I do have a few things to say in comparison to e well to our number one you know it already to Issa in first when we get to the lineup so appreciate Ashley and her beautiful um, physique here, but I've got some more to say in a minute. Okay, Issa in first place. I am loving this. She is on a roll. I feel like she's back. Like the confidence is back. She is on top. And you can see it. You can see the change in her. Look, for example, the way she is posing here at the Olympia versus the way she's posing here. She almost looks like a completely different athlete. And it's not because her physique is that different. It's because her confidence is shining through. She's really posing to the max. The hourglass shape is outrageous. Her shoulders look amazing. She just looks confident. She looks tall. She looks full of life. Her hair is the best it has ever been. It is so face framing with this bit of a curl. It's full. It's voluminous. But man, her posing has changed. She's always done a great job of showing off the hourglass, but now it's another level. She looks like the most proud, confident winner ever. I love it. So zooming in a little bit, because those pictures are too tiny, you can really appreciate her hourglass. The lats are like almost horizontal, and her waist is unbelievably small. Her glute is so full and round, and what's really beautiful is the amount of curve she has in her leg. So she's really popping out that glute, and it is doing wonders for the shape of her lower body. Let's just go to the lineup and you'll be able to compare. Okay, so everybody side by side. This is unreal. Amazing, beautiful shapes. But Issa's hourglass is just something else. Her waist is so small. Nobody has a waist like hers. Her obliques are so defined. Compare Issa to Ashley. We have to do it first and second, right? Our two Olympia champions. Issa's waist is ridiculously small. Her obliques are so defined. Her lats and delts really are showcased here. I mean, I think Ashley's delts look incredible. Really full, really round, really large. So Ashley, I think, has a beautiful upper body. But Issa's lats and the tiny waist take her somewhere else and also she's posing in such a way that like her glute is also almost horizontal like unbelievable shape it's almost like her belly button is pointing to the floor whereas the other ladies the belly button is more pointing up so she is creating such a curve in her back the hourglass is unreal the other thing that I noticed that Issa is superior is the curve in her quad. If you compare this sweep on Issa to Ashley, I think Ashley is demonstrating a little bit more of a straightness in her legs. 
not to say that her legs are straight, but there's more curve to Issa, whether it's because of the curve and the detail by her knee or this curve in the back. I'm just noticing a little bit more roundness in her lower body than I'm noticing in Ashley's. And I think that really helps to accentuate that curvy hourglass shape. Wow. Okay, from behind, I'm also noticing, I believe Ashley is almost having striations here in her glute ham tie-ins. So I'm wondering if she went like just a touch too far in her conditioning at this show. I think Malu is showing an amazing roundness in her glutes, just a beautiful fullness. I think Hyun could have a little bit more fullness, honestly. Um, Tara, I think, is showing an absolutely gorgeous hourglass with her shoulders and the tiny waist. But Issa, she just looks really full and round. Her waist looks small. Her delts look beautiful from behind. And she's got just the right amount of detail in her glute ham tie-ins without being overly striated or lean. So it was a beautiful show. Ashley looks gorgeous. I noticed Ashley switched to the green suit for these photos. So these must be from the evening show. I'm not sure why she switched. Uh, but man, what a top five. So in terms of Olympia... Issa was already qualified, Ashley was already qualified, Malu has three, Tara has three, and Hyun was already qualified. That's crazy. So yeah, I've got two more recaps from the weekend coming your way. Don't miss those. And then this weekend coming up, two international shows, the Shiro Classic in Italy and the Muscle Contest Brazil. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss those recaps. Comment below with what you thought of another battle between Ashley and Issa. Holy smokes. Give me a like if you like this video. Come find me at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.